so the other morning when I woke up, I felt an itchiness in my throat area, which is a symptom or sign of a cold or flu coming on. And when I was growing up, my mother used to make us ginger tea with lemon, honey, and pine nuts to help us battle our cold. But I actually placed my own twist on this tea by adding some cinnamon sticks and dried dates. And this tea will not only help me battle my cold, but also keep me warm during these winter days. So I'm telling you, this recipe is really simple. So in my pot, I already have some purified water in there. And with my ginger, I already peeled it and sliced it into about one inch pieces. So I'll just add that right into the water. So with my dates, I sliced it in half so all the flavors of the dates really infuse into the tea. So I'll just add that right in. And then I'm going to use two cinnamon sticks for that nice cinnamon spicy flavor. I'll just add that in. I'm gonna turn the flame to high. Once this tea starts to boil, reduce the flame to low. and simmer cook the tea for about 15 to 20 minutes and all the flavors of the ginger, dates, and cinnamon will infuse right into the tea. So it's been about 15 minutes that I've been simmer cooking the tea, so let's take a look. It smells really good. I can smell the flavors of the cinnamon, date, and ginger infuse right into the tea. So next, I wanna show you how to put it all together. So to finish off the tea, I'm gonna add some honey, lemon, and pine nuts. So I'll pour myself a cup of tea. And then I'm gonna use some raw organic honey. That's my favorite honey. And it'll give it a little bit of a sweetness to the tea and balance out the ginger. And then we'll squeeze some lemon and citrus is so good for battling cold and flu. And so we're gonna add some lemon to the tea. And final step, we'll add some of the pine nuts. And Korean people love to add pine nuts in this tea. Let me take a sip of it. It's so calm and soothing for the cold and flu and really warms you up during these winter months. So I know you won't be disappointed with this recipe for battling your cold and flu. So try it at home and let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. So I wanna to announce to you that this spring, I'm launching my Yin and Yang Living line of prayer beads based on my logo. You know, the crescent moon and the round sun representing me and my sister Sun. And in Chinese, the yin represents the moon and the yang represents the sun. So these prayer beads have lots of spiritual, powerful energies behind them. And so you'll see that on the chain, there's the crescent moon and the round sun and the same thing on the pendant. And so these prayer beads come in both necklace or in bracelet form. So you could wear it or hold them. And they come in nine different paired colors. So I have a prayer bead for every personality out there. So this is a great way to support me this spring is by purchasing a prayer bead. And when you buy a prayer bead, the great thing, and this is really unique and special, is that it comes with a access to a private mantra or meditation video on my website. And those videos will be on how to get better health, more love, prosperity, you know, infinite possibilities, self-worth. It'll be in all topics that will really help you in your journey of life. So I really think that these prayer beads are very, very special and will help you to come home to your soul. So this is a great way to support me in the future. But if you wanna support me now because you like what I do, please 
feel free to donate to my fan funding because I use so much of my time, energy, and resources to create these videos for you. And if you like this video today and my tip, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and share the video. And if you want to visit all of my spiritual and holistic living tips, just go to my website at yinnyangliving.com. Kumasunida. Thank you.